Maybe you've tackled putting a lining in a regular skirt, but you're wondering how to do it for a skirt with a bend extension, also known as a slit. You're in luck because I'll show you exactly how it's done. You'll know a pattern has a vent extension because near the hemline, your pattern will have a shape similar to this. From my front and back skirt patterns, I'll cut out pieces from my main fabric and from my lining fabric. With my main fabric pieces, I'll start assembling my skirt. This means I'll sew in the zipper and sew the center back seam to the top of the vent and also sew any darts. Then sew the skirt front and skirt back together at the side seams. You'll also want to fold along the vent extension and press. You may have a separate pattern for the skirt lining in which there's an inverted vent at the hemline instead of an extended one like my pattern, but this is not crucial and you can reuse the same skirt pattern like I am. To make your lining vent inverted, use a ruler and fabric marker and draw a line one and five eighths from the center back edge. This line should go down to the hemline. Draw another line extending the top edge of the vent extension to your first line. Mark where these lines intersect. At your sewing machine, stitch from the center back to the mark, pivot, and then go all the way down to the skirt hem edge. You're not sewing anything together, we're just reinforcing and prepping our vent area of our lining. Trim the vent extension off, leaving half inch to 5 eighths of an inch past your stitches. Cut diagonally to the mark. Fold the fabric on the stitch line to the wrong side and press. Repeat these steps for the other skirt back lining piece. Now we're going to sew the skirt lining pieces similar to how we did the outer shell. Sew the center back seam from the top of the vent to the bottom of where the zipper would go in. Press the seam and continue pressing to the top of the waistline, turning the edges of where the zipper will be by 5 eighths of an inch. Then sew the skirt front lining and the skirt back lining together at the side seams and press. Also, if you have any darts, don't forget to do those. Next, you'll want to hem the skirt lining. The skirt lining should end up above the finished length of your outer skirt, so you should take a look at your hem allowance of your main pattern. For example, if your hem allowance of your main skirt is one inch, you might want to make the lining hem allowance one and a half inches. So on my skirt, I'll fold up the bottom edge of the skirt lining one and a half inches to the wrong side, press, and then take the top raw edge, turn under one quarter inch, and press again. Please note, when doing this, unfold the pressed edge around the vent. Sew your hem in place at your sewing machine using a regular length straight stitch on the top folded edge. Now insert the skirt lining into the main skirt wrong sides together, matching up the top edge of the skirt. Your pressed zipper area should go alongside the zipper teeth of the main skirt. For now, you're just going to base all along the top of the skirt, attaching these two layers together. For a typical skirt, you'll eventually have a waistband, but you'll want to watch our tutorial on the basic waistband if you need help with that. Hand sew the pressed edge of the lining to the zipper tape by going back and forth between grabbing the lining and the zipper tape. Now we'll do the hem of the main skirt. Turn the vent extension at the bottom of the skirt to the right side and stitch one inch from the bottom going across the turned edge of the vent or whatever your hem allowance is. Trim off the excess, then flip the vent extension back to the wrong side and the bottom edge of the skirt will naturally start to turn along the hemline. On the inside of the skirt, press up the hemline of the main skirt for the rest of the length. You can either hand sew it in place if it's a delicate fabric or machine sew it. You can pull the lining up just to keep it out of the way. Pull the lining down and in my example the lining is a half inch shorter than my main skirt. Then you'll want to lay the lining vent over the main vent. You'll notice that my lining is not matching up with the edge of my vent. There's about a one inch gap here. I'm going to slip stitch the edge of the lining to my main fabric all the way around. So I'm going to use a contrasting thread here so you can see where my thread is. So I started right on that folded edge of the lining. I'm going to grab a little bit of my main fabric and I'm just grabbing the fabric that's on the wrong side. I'm trying to make sure that my needle doesn't go through to the right side because I don't want to see my, my thread on that side. So now that I did the main fabric, I'm just going to go back to that edge of the lining again. And then after that, I go to the main fabric. So you're just going to do this all the way around until the vent is attached or the lining vent is attached to the main vent. If you're worried about your lining coming separated from the skirt at the hemline area too much, you can do some French tacks at the side seam areas. See our tutorial on doing French tacks to learn how to do this. And now your skirt has a lovely lining inside. Adding a lining can be extra work, but it'll make your handmade clothes look exquisite and high end.
We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to get notified of our weekly releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 350 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can check out our Patreon campaign and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.